Welcome back, folks. It is 514 on this wonderful Wednesday. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's jump right into the forecast. As we take a look outside right now, I know America's Mattress Live Tower Cam is a little bit unfocused, but we're looking at a lot of overcast skies. A little bit of a clearing should be happening later in the morning hours, though. We'll notice those temperatures, uh, temperatures are still at or above those seasonal averages with thunderstorms still kind of lingering. I know I said there was going to be a little bit of a drying trend as we got into the middle of the work week, end of the work week type of thing, but it does look like those precipitation values are still upwards of what we're typically used to this time of year with a drying trend, of course, expected for the end of the work week, setting us up for a beautiful holiday weekend. Right now we'll take a look at that state satellite and that state radar. This is these are these storm clouds that I'm chatting about that left us with just a little bit of some rain this morning and well a little bit of some accumulation overnight. They are soon to kind of head on out and they're actually going to head north towards that steamboat that Meeker that Craig area and that flow is going to take it on up through Wyoming. We'll also take a look here folks because we are going to have that drying trend happen as this low pressure system and all these little arrows send all that precipitation up northward of us. We'll notice that we're still staying in that yellow in that orange zone as this high pressure ridge pushes on up through the panhandle to return us back to well dry typical western slope weather. We do have a flood advisory in Mesa County still until Monday, May 29th. So from the beginning of the week folks on that Monday that Tuesday it has been extended just about another 48 hours and I wouldn't be surprised if it sticks around with us because of those warmer temperatures. Currently it's feeling 59 in Grand Junction, 49 in Montrose, 43 in Glenwood Springs, 40 in Aspen and actually 43 in Gunnison too. So that's some of the warmest temperatures that Gunnison has been experiencing this week. Wind speeds mild folks. I know yesterday during the evening hours, even even kind of during those afternoon hours, they picked up in most of those areas 15, 20 miles an hour, even 30 miles an hour in areas like Cedar Ridge. But it does look like they're going to stay pretty mild throughout today and the end of the work week. That afternoon high, folks, 83 instead of our typical 80, low end 55 instead of 50. So just a few degrees above what we're typically used to on both ends of things. And I've got Mr. Scout sticking around with me all week this week for the dog walking forecast. 9 a.m. feeling 69, noon 80 degrees, 3 p.m. 83 again, all with those mostly sunny skies. If you want to send me a photo of your dog, please feel free to at jsage at kerextv.com. I want to chat about that pollen forecast. It's still the same. Trees on that high end, not many weeds, just a little bit of some grasses and some mold hanging out. And folks, those rainfall totals, what I was just chatting about, Grand Junction, close to minimal. Same with Moab. Glenwood Springs, though, just about a quarter of an inch. Aspen, just about a tenth of an inch for the last 24 hours. We'll notice as we get into the rest of today that morning hours, some widespread showers again along that well southern Grand Valley area and as long, alongside that northern front range area. And as we get into the evening hours, clearing expected for us. That's going to continue with us for the rest of the week. Maybe a little bit of a chance for some showers on Sunday, but not much at all. And as we get into that holiday weekend, 86, 87, 88 on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So, well, try to make some plans, get outside. We've got lots and lots of sunshine hanging out.